Mr. Funk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of... Oh, Boy, when you stop laughing, these are your friends here. They're cowboys, aren't they? All cowboys are my friends. Do you know the difference between a Texas Brandon and a WWF Brandon? In Texas, we brand cattle. And in the WWF, we brand... Jackasses! <laughs> Laugh! Laugh! Shut up! Well, what we'd like to do is um, take you to some videotape footage. And we will actually show a, a branding a, of a sort that I've never seen before, ever done in the World Rosting Federation, an actual branding at the end of this match. Let's take you now to the videotape footage of Terry Funk. Paul Roma and Terry Funk. Terry Funk set that up with that big, big suplex. He had him up there, didn't he? I think I believe he could have pinned Mr. Roma after the suplex. He put the spinning toe hold on just for good measure. The winner of the match, Terry Funk. Where's the Brandon? The where's the Brandon? I thought that was a particularly distasteful act, and I took it upon myself to they cut didn't it out. See the branding? I cut it out. Oh. Do you want me to brand you? No, I don't. Jackass! Oh. We'll Wait be so back I with more TNT. Stay out. with us. Where's it? Well, Mr. Funk, back here in the. You know, I never met a Yankee that wasn't a pig-eyed, pig-nosed airhead. Mr. Fuck, I don't know anyone in professional wrestling that has an attitude like you. I don't know a single soul that has an attitude quite... quite like yours. Alfred, because I'm middle-aged and crazy, crazy like a fox. Is there anything wrong with that attitude? Well, you have Mr. No Hayes? You have no dignity. You jackass. <laughs> Please, don't try to... Don't demean Alfred. Alfred's a nice guy. Don't you know Alfred? He knows me. I know him, too, and he's always been the same. He'll never change. What's wrong with me? Your whole family was the same. Well, the whole please, family in LA, don't talk about my family. Alfred. Don't ever mention my family. All right, apologize. I was Texas. Tony, Tony, hey, Tony. Thank you. Tony, how you doing, Bob? Come on in. How you doing? Have a seat. Thanks Thank for joining us again. Earlier on, of course, Tony Garea with us. Uh, earlier in TNT, and uh, glad to have you back. This is a little different environment than uh, New Zealand, isn't it? It certainly is. It certainly is. Aren't you going to be new to a bit hospitable and asking for a beer? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hey, Donna. Away from my Honey, bring us some beer. Mm -hmm. Be very All the nice. way around, honey. It is a, a totally different environment. It certainly is. And I'm rather enjoying it. It's uh, very unique. I never have been around such a nice environment before being from New Zealand, have you? I've been around a few nice ones, Mr. Funk. Nice ones. A few nice environments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Don. You're a gentleman. And the environments are getting a lot nicer. <laughs> really? You're right. Definitely. I think, I think this one, uh, this one, yeah, that one, one for Tony. That's a special one. What might you name me? You know, Mr. Don. Pug. No, no. Uh, mm -hmm. How would you draw land. comparisons? Have you ever been to New Zealand? I've never You've, been to New Zealand. Where? You've never been to New Zealand? New Zealand. Have you ever been to New Zealand? No, no. Well, it's a, some right. of the land in New Zealand is a little bit like I've West Texas, actually, like from, 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 what, uh, from what I understand. Yeah, Mr. Funk. What? Mr. what? First thing. Talking about some of the geographic. Geographic. Yes. Wow. Geography. I minored in geography. Oh, very well, then. You'll know a little bit something about New Zealand as compared to West Texas, then, won't you? So, what brings you to Texas? Mr. Funk, it's a little difficult yeah. carrying on a conversation. 
But uh, you, from time to time. See you later. Have a good time. Sure. Okay, Tony. See you. Sure, Again, let's talk a little bit. You've toured the entire world, have you not? Wrestling all over the entire world. And what? Mr. Falk, are you with us? Well, there's a lot of cattle. What a mess we have here. I mean, a real mess. Thanks to Terry Funk, who apparently has no regard whatsoever to, uh, to property, that's obvious, and certainly no regard for, uh, for the well-being of, the, of the Tony Gurria. Well, everything happened so fast. He's jealous. He's jealous not only of women, as I told you before. His family is the same. Look at that. I just started a drink, and that, that was dashed out of my hands. And Funk came, crept behind Greer there. He were, it was a sneak move. That was a thing. He a left, cowardly That move. was. It really was cowardly. And I think I, I would think somewhat like, unlike Terry Funk. I mean, he, he's supposed to be a big, brave uh, sort of individual. He left us. I'll be right back, he said. And he walked over, grabbed a whiskey bottle off the table next door, apparently, and came up. And we turned around. He was behind Gurria. I mean, mm -hmm. it was as if he said, hey, turn around or something like that. Rally right behind him and let him have it. I mean, Tony... Is not in good shape. No, and another thing, notice, he did it while all his friends were here, didn't he? He didn't do it while Tony Guerrero's friends were here. I noticed that, too. Good point. And, and uh -huh. the other thing was, everyone cheering for him. Yes, that was it. Oh, I couldn't understand that. But they're all Texans, I suppose. They stick together. I don't know, but I wouldn't think that a good Texan would appreciate that anyway. I wouldn't think that a good anything would appreciate what Mr. Funk has been doing, and I would suge uh, suggest that uh, some sort of measure of action is going to be taken against him. Um, well, in the past we have done that, and I would like to see something like that happen, but I'd rather see Gurria sort the whole thing out for himself. Go to the source. Let us have some ruling on that, and let us see if Gurria wants to do something well, about no it. No doubt Tony got a little taste of uh, what happens, or what possibly can happen, apparently, in, uh, in a Texas sort of a situation. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe now Mr. Funk will get a little taste of what can happen in terms of uh, uh, New Zealand retribution. <laughs> yeah. In any event, till next week when we'll have more, uh, hopefully not any more of this, we invite you to join us for next week's TNT. So long, everyone. <laughs>